Hey everybody, Frick here. Today I am super excited because I finally get to test the Tesla Model 3. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time and I'm down here in beautiful Florida and I get to use a service called Turo. Turo is a service that you can rent other people's vehicles. It's like an Airbnb for cars. So there was a few Tesla Model 3s available, so I decided to rent one. Let's take a look at the car. Currently Tesla has six different versions of the Model 3. This is the second one from the top, meaning it has dual motors, all-wheel drive, and a long-range battery, which gives you about 310 miles, or 500 kilometers. This one is valued at about 47,000 US dollars, or 63,000 Canadian dollars. Let's take a look around the car. First thing you're gonna notice is because it is has motors instead of an engine, is that the front is a trunk. The motors, the uh, batteries, everything is underneath. The only fluids that you'll have to do, since there's no oil changes or transmission fluids or anything like that, is the windshield wiper fluid. So that's the front trunk right here. We come around this way. We have the charging port right here, and then we have a trunk in the back as well. Now the trunk actually has quite a bit of space. It doesn't look like it from just looking in here, but you can actually pull this up and there's quite a bit of extra space, it goes pretty deep. Again, everything is underneath the car. The only other thing that you really notice on the outside is that the roof is complete sheet of glass. It doesn't open, it's not a sunroof or a moonroof, but it gives you a really cool view within the... The other thing I like to talk about is the rims. By default, Tesla throws in 18 inch rims with the option to do 19 or even 20 inch rims. When I first looked at this, I thought it was pretty ugly. But when I looked it up, this plastic hubcap actually provides a more aerodynamic airflow and it keeps air out of the wheel well, causing less draft and it increases the efficiency of the vehicle by 10%. If, however, you do not like the rim or the hubcap, you can simply to get into the vehicle, all you gotta do is use the key provided. It's just a simple looking credit card. Another option is that you could use your phone, which I'll talk about later. But all you gotta do is slap the key up against the car and it's ready to unlock. So the first thing that you'll notice about the interior of this car is that it does not have a usual dashboard. Everything is controlled from this 15 inch iPad looking tablet thing uh, that has all of your controls and information. The first thing you'll notice is over here is where your most important stuff is. You'll notice the gear, how much battery power you have left and the ability to open your trunks and your charging port. Charging port. Up here you have all your quick controls. So if I want to adjust the steering wheel, for example, I'll click steering wheel and then the steering wheel itself has two knobs and controls as well. I can adjust the steering wheel this way, or up, or towards me, or away. That's just one of the many things you can adjust. You can adjust the mirrors. Um, if we go through here, you adjust the lights, and the, the lights and the locks. If I wanna open the glove box, I simply hit glove box. And there's a bunch of other settings in here that uh, we don't really need to go over today. Uh, if we click the music, we have a full um, array of different types of music. Now, one thing that's important to realize is every Tesla Model 3 has its own built-in LTE wireless connection. It is actually free for the first year. It's $100 a year every year after that, but it's always connected to the internet itself. So it can update itself and you'll get your GPS information and you can download music. can't tell from the video but it has an amazing stereo as well as far as other stuff we have here uh, it'll give you information on your charging your calendar you even have a full web browser so if I want to browse YouTube or watch YouTube videos this comes mostly in handy when you're charging the device another thing you can do here is control the climate so if I turn up the fans here you'll see in real time a display of how the air is flowing now, because we don't have any adjustments on the vents themselves, everything is controlled again on the screen. The direction of the airflow. You'll also notice here a box that says keep climate on. You have the ability to keep the air flowing when the car is parked. So you'll see an extra option here for a dog. So if you keep your dog in the car, if you have to go shopping, you won't get too hot. 
You also control from here the heated seats. Every seat in the vehicle can be heated. Oops. As far as other stuff here, you have your defrost and your volume uh, right here. So there's a lot of storage in the vehicle as well. Under here, you have a little compartment and it goes quite deep underneath that as well. You have your cup holders here, both of these open. You can rest your phone here and what's really nifty about this is that there's two USB ports and that you can put your own cables up through this little hole here and you can create your own little docks for your phones. In this case, the person who rented me the vehicle had one for iPhone and one for Android phone. So that's super cool. In the back, there's also two USB ports as well as vents for the uh, climate control in the back as well. Other than that, you have your window controls on the side. To open the door, it's just a little button, not a usual handle. You just press the button and the door opens. Again, everything is controlled from this big 15-inch uh, tablet. The only other controls are on the wheel and then your gear shift is here. You press in a button to put on the parking brake and then your blinkers are controlled from over here. Everything else is right here in front of you. Yeah. So when you're driving this thing, you'll notice right away that it's incredibly quiet, incredibly smooth. There's no transmission, so it's all one gear. So on paper, they say that this car goes from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.5 seconds. So we're gonna test that theory right now. crazy acceleration for a car that's this low priced. Some of the coolest features of this car I can't even show you and that's because it's not mine. But when you do own a Tesla Model 3 you can add the app to your phone and control the car remotely. You can lock or unlock it from anywhere in the world. If you're lost in a parking lot you can blink the lights or honk the horn. You can control the climate so you can have it cool down or warm up before you get into it. And if you're trapped in a tight parking space you can actually summon the vehicle with your phone. You can move it forward or backward without being in the car, all from the app. Okay, so my absolute favorite feature of this car is the autopilot and the cruise control. All I gotta do is double click down on this and the car will drive for me. As you can see, I'm going around a turn. I have no hands on the wheel and no feet on the, pedal, on the pedals. It'll just keep going around the corner and it will steer for me. If I want, I can adjust my speed with this little knob here or I can click left and right here to adjust how much distance I want from me and the car in front of me. The car has 12 sensors all around it, 12 sensors and cameras that help me, that help the car determine where it is on the road to stay within the lanes and make sure it doesn't hit anything. So with the car in autopilot, you can see with the help of the sensors, it can actually sense all the vehicles around me as well as the lines in the road to make uh, the lanes. If I just simply click the blinker, it will actually switch the lane for me automatically. And as you can see, we have a red light up here. Without, again, touching the brake or the wheel, it will slow down by itself to a stop because of the person in front of me. When the light turns green and the person in front of me goes, the car will go as well. So while we're stopped here, I'm gonna show you something really cool. There's a hidden menu. If you press the Tesla logo at the top and then slide the menu down, it does show you your car, what kind of car you have. Again, this is the Model 3 long range dual motor. But if you slide this down, you got a couple cool features. If I click the whoopee cushion, I can select a seat in the vehicle and it will fart. You can even have the fart uh, happen when you have your turn signals on or you can fart on demand by pressing a button on the wheel. Uh, there's also an option you can draw a picture or, and as you can see the car started going again on its own. You can turn into Santa Claus. Changes my icon on the screen. Out of all the rainbows, you know you're the mastermind. Also, if you don't, if you click this down four times, you get more cowbell. You also have the option to set the mood. Simply press the fire icon, it'll light a nice fire for you and your lady friend in the back. It will even blow hot air. And if you press the screen once, 
going to play some romantic tunes. It's getting toasty in here. And finally, almost going to get it done. Finally, you even have an Atari system built right in. It comes with five games. Asteroids, Lunar Lander, Missile Command, Centipede, and Millipede. Insert a quarter, press start. Super cool. Anyway, that's it for the cool features. So a lot of people wanna know about charging the vehicle because that's the new concept to everybody. Instead of being able to stop at any gas station, they now have to charge the vehicle. Now down here in Florida is a lot different where I'm from in New Brunswick, Canada. There are charging stations all over the place. There are three types of charging stations that have three levels of how quickly they can charge the vehicle. Today I charged at a Tesla supercharger station, which is the fastest that you can go. I was there for about 25 minutes and I was able to add 145 miles of charging. On average, it's gonna take anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour to completely charge the battery if it was empty. If you plan on charging uh, at your own house, you have to buy Tesla's charging kit to be able to get a full charge overnight. Otherwise, if you plug it into a regular outlet, it, uh, it's gonna take forever. It takes over 24 hours to charge the battery completely. I find the most convenient way to charge your vehicle is at one of the many stores that provides electric charging. Uh, you're able to just simply park, plug in your car while you shop, and then that way when you come out, you have a sufficient charge to uh, get to your next destination. But those are your options if you wanna charge the vehicle. Whoa. I love how the pedal just just has more and more and more to give. The more you push, the more it produces. Not a single gear shift. No turbo lag. No supercharged wine. It's just right there. All right, so I've just spent the last 24 hours with the Tesla Model 3, and I can tell you that I absolutely love it. It's fast, it's agile, it handles amazing, has great features, and of course, no gas. For the same price range as you would pay for BMW, a Lexus, or Mercedes, it puts those all to shame as far as how fast it goes. So for the amount of money that you pay for this, I would highly, highly recommend it.